Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so if you guys have misfires, if you guys have idling issues, if you guys have crank no start issues, if you guys have issues with your Chevy Malibu where it starts and then it dies immediately, or a sporadic um, engine issues, you guys might want to check out this part of the vehicle that's just very easy to access very easy to change out it's the mass airflow sensor uh, it's essentially the first thing that captures information uh, regarding your engine as far as their air intake uh, if you guys don't know what it does it measures the amount of air that goes into your engine and that it gets balanced out with the amount of gas that gets uh, put into your engine so that it works properly now um, it gives a reading to your car's computer about how much air is is um, uh, in the system and in in the computer essentially with the fuel injectors these days it puts uh, uh, a balance of gas in the engine to uh, keep it running normally now if the mass airflow sensor has issues any kind of issues at all, if it's dirty, if it's broken, if it's putting out no reading or or um, an accurate reading, you're going to get issues with how your engine runs even if it actually turns over or, or, or runs at all. So basically, as you guys can see, um, this is where the mass airflow sensor is. It's very, very, very easy to get to. It's on essentially the passenger side of vehicle it's uh it's just right there all right um it's two bolts two easy bolts to get to essentially what you guys want to do is you guys want to take the plug off first that little orange tab you guys want to pull out once you pull the uh, tab out you can push uh push the um the gray uh little lever you push it down it'll allow you to push it down pop out the plug after you guys pop out the plug you guys can unscrew the uh, two bolts and pop out the mass airflow sensor you guys could actually clean it uh, they do have mass uh, airflow sensor cleaner it's a very very fast fast drying sp drying spray now if you guys have any issues with the mass airflow sensor sometimes um, the uh, OBD2 um, picks it up and puts out a code as a mass airflow sensor issue. If that is the case, then you guys are very lucky because then you guys know exactly what the problem is and how to fix it. If you guys go to AutoZone Advanced Auto to pick up mass airflow sensor, it'll run you around like 120, 140. If you guys go to eBay, Amazon, any other places to get, get these mass airflow sensors, it's a lot cheaper. Anywhere from like $20 to $40, it's a lot cheaper, but obviously you're gonna have to wait for shipping and stuff like that. But if you guys don't have a code, there is a chance that if you guys don't have a code, you guys could also have issues that's caused by the mass airflow sensor that's not generating a code. Um, in that case, you guys might wanna replace the mass airflow sensor or clean it first. If cleaning it doesn't work, you might, guys might want to replace it. Just off the bat, it's inexpensive. You probably have to replace it after, I don't know. Uh, if you guys are start having issues with your engine, you guys probably have a high mile vehicle. You guys probably need to have uh, swapped it out anyway. So might as well just swap it out. It's easy to get to. It's easy to replace. It's cheap. If you guys clean it and it's not doing anything, might just replace it. It's very, very easy to do. Uh, in this case, um, it's it's right there. You know, uh, most air mass airflow sensors are very easy to get to. This one is um, one of the easier um, uh, locations to get to. In any case, if you guys have any questions, leave a question in the comments section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Appreciate your time, guys. Take care.